Pokémon Tournament Deluxe is a fun and solid fighting game for the Nintendo Switch. It can be easy to play and hard to master. So the question is, what is the best way to play this game? You can go old-fashioned with the Joy-Con Comfort Grip, or you could go hardcore with a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. But are there any other ways to play the game? Say hello to the Pokémon Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad made by Hori. This controller was specifically designed for Pokémon Tournament Deluxe and is based off the Pokémon Tournament arcade machines found in Japan. But will this controller really give you the edge in battle? What's going on guys? It's Nintendo Joe back at it again with another video and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Pokémon Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad made by Hori. I found this controller on Amazon and it retails at $24.99 US dollars. But will this controller really make you better at Pokémon Tournament Deluxe and how does it compare and contrast to Nintendo's own Joy-Cons and Pro Controller. Let's find out as we unbox and review the Pokémon Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad. Inside the box, you get the Pro Pad itself and an instruction booklet. So, starting off with the initial overview of the Pro Pad for Pokémon Tournament Deluxe, um, on the left, you've got your D pad and the four buttons down here. You got the select or the minus button, the start button or the plus button, and the ZL and ZR buttons. Uh, the reason why the ZL and ZR buttons are over here instead of usual triggers is because it only comes with two triggers, the left and the right. Over here on the right, you got your A, B, X, Y buttons as usual. And this is not wireless. It comes with a decently long cable uh, that plugs into USB, so you can plug it into the side of your dock. And yeah, that's basically all it for the overview. Uh, I don't know how long the cable actually is, and I'm too lazy to measure it, and it doesn't specify how long it is, but I'm sure that the cable is long enough to suit your needs. So, plugging it into the Nintendo Switch dock, um, you do see that the USB does come with a cap, so, I mean, I guess that's an extra touch, but you can plug it into one of the two USB slots on the side of your dock, or... You could plug it in to the USB port inside your dock. So, like that. You can plug it into which port you want to. It's your choice. So comparing the Pokémon Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad and the normal Joy-Cons and the Pro Controller, you can already see some of the many differences. First off, you can see that uh, the Pro Pad does not have any analog sticks, so you won't be able to play any first or third per person shooter because all you have are, is the D-pad and no analog sticks. Also, you can see that the home button and the capture button are missing from the Pro Pad, so you won't be able to go back to the home menu or uh, take screenshots. And since this is wired, this controller does not have motion controls or amiibo support, so you cannot scan your amiibos with this controller. Now, when we're talking about comfort, which controller has the best feel to it? Of course, you know number one is always going to be the Pro Controller, no matter what. 
the pro controller is just a solid controller you can't go wrong with it but the joy cons controller you know they can get uncomfortable sometimes and they're a little awkward so when you're playing games like Pokemon tournament deluxe or maybe some mario kart or any other games that don't require a lot of controls this controller actually is nice it may look a little awkward at first but once you really get it in your hands it it's it's a solid controller So now for my overall opinion of the Pokin Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad. For me, I think it is a great alternative to the $70 Pro Controller. Because, I'll say this again, this controller does cost around $25. Only a third of the price of a Pro Controller. It makes good for what it's worth. I mean, sure, you are losing a lot of key features that the Joy-Cons and the Pro Controller have. Such as motion controls, amiibo support, and analog sticks. When using this controller, do not expect to be playing games like Breath of the Wild or Splatoon 2. Yet again, this controller is great for, of course, Pokemon Tournament Deluxe and games like ARMS and Mario Kart, where you don't need that second analog stick or the ZL and ZR buttons to play the game. I often find myself giving this controller to another friend who doesn't want to play with the split Joy-Cons and just wants a normal controller feel and I think this controller does great for that job it may look awkward but trust me when you have it in your hands it 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 is a comfortable controller and is I think a uh, one of the many great alternatives to the pro controller would I rather use this or the pro controller of course I'm gonna say I would always go with the pro controller option it's, this is just a hands-down amazing controller for the Nintendo Switch and I'd always recommend this over any other controller out there. So if you guys want to see my unboxing and reviewing of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, please be sure to go check that out. I'll put the link in the description below and at the end of the video. But at the end of the day, you're gonna get this controller if you want a cheaper alternative to the Pro Controller and want a spare controller just in case you want more players. But that's going to be it for the Pokemon Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad. I hope my video gave you enough information to decide whether or not you would like to purchase the Pokemon Tournament Deluxe Pro Pad for yourself. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really helps. And make sure to comment down below what you guys think of this controller and how you guys like to play Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. If you're not already, please subscribe so you don't miss any more Nintendo content coming your way. So with all that is said, this has been Nintendo Joe, signing out. <sighs>